the question really quick. Thanks a lot. Michael, Jeremy J. Ford right here with Tag Hollywood. Just got a couple questions for you. One of the biggest things is you're like an iconic legend as far as your voice, as far as an announcer. So what advice would you have to like youngsters that want to be an announcer? Because you kind of have the announcing boxing thing sewn up. So what advice would you give to people that want to be announcers? Well, uh, at my age, I'm like looking forward to some retirement like real soon. But that might be something encouraging for uh, young announcers because there's a slot then. <laughs> Look at it that way. You know, to, to, to give advice, I think, you know, people should just try to um, think about the introductions as being short and sweet and give the fighters their due more than the hometown or the arena or the promoter as far as like when you're making the announcements. Save all the energy for the fighters themselves. They're the stars of the show. So how did you get your start? I, uh, made up a fake resume and uh, got my foot in the door 33 34 years ago in atlantic city and just sort of like took off so let me ask you this has there ever been times i know you probably can't say what fight and things like that where you kind of pull for one fighter a little bit more than another oh yeah sure sure I, 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 let me give you an example one of the not the best fight but one of the most exciting moments that i've ever seen was when george foreman at the age of 44 became heavyweight champion of the world and what made it an exciting moment was he lost every minute of every round until the 10th round and then landed the, the knockout punch. And while I had tears of joy in my eyes, there was also sadness in my heart because I had known Michael Moore, who he knocked out that night ever since he was 19 years old. And it was just like one of those like just moments you, you live for in sports. Like when I was a kid, I saw Bill Mazeroski hit a home run and, and uh, the walk-off home run against the Yankees in 1960. And then just this Sunday, the Seattle Seahawks come back. Regardless of who you were for, you actually saw that happen. And uh, those type of moments are great. And that's what happened with George Foreman, you know, 20 years ago. So I got one more question for you. So now that boxing is where it is and HBO still you know does a great job with boxing promoting boxing and and putting you in front of the camera and and different companies do as well but where's the future of boxing going with MMA coming in and the UFC and different um, mixed martial arts venues what's the future of boxing boxing is as big as it's ever been maybe even bigger all you have to do is go to a computer look up the schedule of, of fights around the world every weekend and you see fights in Belfast, in London, in Stuttgart, Germany, in, in Moscow, all over America. Every week, the UFC, you're going to see two fights a month, maybe three if, if you're lucky. And they have a solid, very loyal fan base. Boxing has a huge fan base that's just been there for a hundred years. So boxing is bigger than ever. They have nothing to worry about with MMA. MMA is a great sport, but they have very loyal fans and that's good for them. All right, thanks so much, Michael. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, take care.